Hi, I'm Dr. Elliot Adam from ElliotOracle.com. I'm also the author of the award-winning Fearless Tarot and Tarot in Love, Consulting the Cards and Matters of the Heart. Both books are published by Llewellyn, and they're available online wherever books are sold, but also on my website, I have some signed copies available. And I just want to give a special shout out of thanks to all of you who took the time to rate and review uh, Fearless Tarot and Tarot in Love on Amazon or uh, wherever you bought the book. It really does help the word to spread about uh, my fearless approach to tarot. And with all that out of the way, it is time for this week's Oracle Reveal. So yesterday on my social media, I placed up three different animals on a photo. And I asked you to use your intuition and just ask yourself which animal's calling to you, because that animal has your message. And the three animals were the hawk, the badger, and the flamingo. So if you're just joining me now, ask yourself which animal's calling to you, which animal's getting caught in your head, because that animal has your message. For those of you who picked the hawk spirit, this card says, let spirit be your guide. And hawk flies high above. It's the messenger bird of the animal kingdom. And what this can indicate is that there is a sense that there's messages coming to you right now from spirit in daily life, in your, uh, you know, walk through the street, there may be a color that stands out or a bird that goes across your path. Maybe a message just keeps coming up on the radio or in a song. The hawk is telling you to listen to all these serendipitous synchronicities uh, because they're really going to guide your path this next week. First card for hawk is where it's best to place your focus this next week. And we get the queen of cups reversed. Now, the Queen of Cups, upright or reverse, she represents a high sensitivity, a lot of emotion going on right now. And when she comes up reverse, she can indicate that you're feeling sort of like pulled out to sea by some of these overwhelming feelings. Sometimes the Queen of Cups just says that you're a little more sensitive than usual when she comes up reversed. Or she can also say that it's time for you to really stop and listen to what your heart is telling you. It may be time to stop powering through life and instead to really listen to what your soul is telling you. Really listen to what your heart, your emotions, your feelings are trying to tell you all along. You know, a lot of times when our inner self tells us, you know, I really need this, and we just go, shut up, you're going to work anyway, <laughs> you know, we start to feel like we're betraying ourselves. That little voice within us is starting to feel squelched or repressed in some way. And so the Queen of Cups reversed is asking you, what emotions are you shoving down? What are you not expressing at this time? It's time to really listen to what that feeling's telling you. Maybe that feeling is telling you that you need a stronger boundary, or maybe it's just telling you that you need to take time to connect with what you really want right now and give yourself that thing. Next is going to be advice from your inner wisdom if you picked uh, the hawk and we get the two of cups, so two cups cards uh, this next week. And we got a reflection there. Okay. So for the Two of Cups, uh, Two of Cups is a card of relationships relating to others. Sometimes the emotions that might be riding high for you right now could be in relation to another person. It could be a time where you not only need to acknowledge what you're feeling, but maybe you also need to come to terms with what others are feeling at this time. The word that's coming into my head for Hawk this next week is compassion. And you're needing to have compassion for the people that are around you and especially toward yourself. Just let compassion be the name of the game. And those cups cards, they do say that this is gonna be a little bit more of a sensitive time for you. So listen to those feelings, listen to those emotions uh, because this is gonna be a time where they do feel like they're running the show. And the mythic archetype that's going to help you, and I'm, by the way, for the mythic archetypes, I'm using the Egyptian gods oracle cards. So we're going to do a little Egyptian. <laughs> and appropriately enough, you know, uh, we have Oris, the falcon headed or hawk headed god for the hawk. And Oris's card says stability and equilibrium. And I feel like his message is that it is time to bring order uh, after a period of darkness. You know, Oris is always against Seth, the, um, the Egyptian god of uh, chaos. And he's all about bringing things into order again. I feel like if you're looking to bring order into your own life, it's time to listen to what your feelings are telling you. It might also be a time to dive into what that psychic intuitive ability that you have is trying to guide 
guide or show you. And then that hawk message coming through so strongly this week, not only with the hawk archetype, but also the hawk-headed or falcon-headed god Horus. This could be a time to see things clearly, to fly high above. And it's also time to get organized in what you're feeling. And it's time to really bring some clarity onto what those emotions are trying to guide you toward. Either way, I just feel like there's signs, signals, little omens that are coming your way this next week. So pay attention to them. Use the Eye of Horus. Next, we got the Badger Spirit, and this card says, Be Fearless and Bold. And Badger is aggressive when it comes to defending its family. It's also a healer animal. Uh, it knows where all the hidden roots are underground uh, that have the healing properties. So Badger could say that it's time for you to be fearless and bold towards your own healing. It might be a time to really charge forward. And instead of taking a passive approach this next week or being afraid of, oh, I got this to do and that to do and what if I mess it up and there's so much happening all at once, the Badger is saying, do it boldly. Transform that energy from feeling passive or victimized by what's happening right now to feeling victorious over it by grabbing the bull by the horns and really taking charge. First card for Badger is where it's best for you to place your focus this next week. And we get the Ace of Pentacles. And Aces in a tarot reading are really wonderful to get. They're just like getting Aces in a poker game. And in the case of the Ace of Pentacles, you got this divine hand coming out of a cloud offering you a golden coin. There's prosperity being offered here. There's opportunity. There's things that could be fruitful. And there's also a gateway opening up in the garden below on the Ace of Pentacles card. So this could just say that there is a doorway of opportunity opening for you. You need to walk through it at this time. If you're feeling inspired, like, ooh, I wonder if this would work, or I feel called to do this, maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't, Ace of Pentacles is saying, go for it, stop second guessing, really make this thing happen. But you are being offered everything you need to succeed at this time. However, even though the doorway is open on the card, if you look in the distance on the card, it's kind of hard to see, but there's a little mountain through the doorway uh, up the path. And this can indicate that naturally, with any new opportunity, there are obstacles, there's challenges, there is a mountain to climb, and yet you're strong enough to do it. So I just feel with that fearless, bold message of the Badger and the Ace of Pentacles, it's just perseverance. It's time to persevere. Next, we got advice from your inner wisdom, if you pick the badger, and we get Lady Justice. And Justice in the tarot, she isn't blindfolded like Justice at the courthouse. Uh, she sees what's in front of her. She sees all the evidence that's laid in front of her. And she's also flanked by those two gray pillars, which is the color of neutrality. This is a time for you to be very clear and very honest with yourself about what your opportunities are. It's also time to be bold and to go for them. It may also be time to cut through the realm of emotion, including uh, emotions like fear uh, or feeling overwhelmed. And Justice is saying it's time to take charge. It's time to bring about equilibrium by really uh, looking at the facts and also seizing upon the opportunities that are before you. And the mythic archetype that's going to help you this next week is Anuket. And her card says hope. And Anuket, you know, she is the goddess who appears uh, after the dry season of the Nile. So in Egypt, you know, every year the, uh, the land gets dry, the Nile kind of uh, gets smaller, and not everything is fertile. And Anuket comes at the time when the Nile starts to flood again, and there's all this nutrient-rich soil, and everything starts to blossom. I think her card is represented as hope, because what she's telling you is that even if you're experiencing a dry time right now, even if the Nile in your own life right now feels like it's not producing very much, the floodwaters will uh, happen again. And you're needing hope right now in your vision. You're needing to look ahead and see the possibilities of prosperity that lay ahead for you. And I just feel like if you open yourself to this possibility, wonderful things are going to happen for you. And then finally, we have the flamingo animal spirit. And this card says, embrace the in-between. 
And flamingo, you know, it lives in between the realms of uh, the water and the air. And so for you, if you're attracted to flamingo this next week, it might be a time where you have to stop demanding that it's this or that, all or nothing, but instead that you're blending both things right now, or just allowing two opposing thoughts in your head to occur at the same time, and to really just reconcile those opposites, and know that you're intelligent enough emotionally to know that they're both true. First card for Flamingo is where it's best for you to place your focus this next week. And we actually get the Four of Wands, which is very self-explanatory. It just shows a party happening on the card. And so the Four of Wands is a card of celebrating your successes, your achievements. Also, the Four of Wands is a card of socializing and connecting. And not in a really intense way. A lot of times the Four of Wands is saying, it's time to just relax with people. Be around people that you enjoy. It may be a time to listen to music again, to dance, to let your hair down. It might be a time to get out of your head and back in your body. Also, the Four of Wands can just indicate that there is something to celebrate right now. You are going through your own rites of passage. And even if it is, it's still an in-between time. You're not completely through this thing right now. The Four of Wands is calling you to celebrate those small successes right now. But I just feel like there is a need to enjoy yourself this next week. The next card is going to be advice from your inner wisdom if you pick the flamingo and we get the king of wands. And the king of wands, you know, he is the self-made man of the tarot for me. He survives all the trials by fire. He works his way through the ranks as a soldier until he becomes the king of wands. And what do we see here? Two wands cards. Well, wands in the tarot, they're tree branches with leaves springing out of the top of them. They represent growth. This is a time of growth, but also growing pains. It's also a time where you're surviving something that's multi-chaptered. And what I mean by that is that it's not just one accomplishment, one thing you're going through, one rite of passage. There's multiple rites of passage. And yet, even though the whole journey isn't done right now, and there's a lot ahead for you to do, there's a lot to survive. Uh, These cards are saying to celebrate those small steps that you do take. And also trust the wise and competent counselor. That's when you, within your own intuition. That's what the King of Wands really represents. And the mythic archetype that's going to help you is the god Shu. He is the god in Egyptian mythology who separates the sky goddess from the earth god. And he's likened to the Greek Atlas who holds the weight of the heavens on his shoulders. He represents bringing order uh, to things, separating them in their proper places. Also, he creates space between the earth and the heavens. This could be a time for you to really create space for yourself right now, to really just allow yourself to accept what's in the in-between and really be okay with creating space for yourself just where you're at right now. Because where you're at right now is exactly where you're supposed to be and you're doing just fine. And that is this week's Oracle. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you would uh, like my approach to readings, uh, you can always go to ElliotOracle.com and schedule a personal one-on-one tarot session with me there. Um, I also have my signed copies of my Fearless Tarot and Tarot and Love available online too. And you can always just check out my social media on YouTube uh, and Instagram where I have daily card polls. Uh, Please do like, share, and subscribe this video if you uh, found it useful useful at all. Otherwise, I hope you all have a wonderful uh, week and I will see you again here next time. So do take care.